there. Welcome and welcome back. I hope everybody's doing good out there today. Um, I released a video a couple days ago. I think it was Tuesday. And I, the reaction to it was absolutely amazing. It was um, the warning with Evolve. And you guys absolutely killed my channel. And I so appreciate it. I um, I think I'm recording this on Wednesday. And I think in the first day of the, that video was out, I gained 200 subscribers. You guys absolutely rock. I appreciate it. Um, so I'm going to be doing some stuff. This video, um, like I said, I'm recording on Wednesday, but it's going to be coming out on Saturday. And... Um, this one, I'll go ahead and let you know what I'm doing. It's um, Inner Sandman. I'm going to do all three versions. Their original version from when they were really little, like 10 years ago. Their version off of the Metallica's Blacklist set with Alyssa Kara, I believe her name is. And then the one they did last year, the version they did last year. So I'm going to do a triple reaction today. This was requested by a bunch of people. Um, Joe Taptaco, Kansas Caymans, Jim Vanderpool, Rip McManus, Kirk the Jerk. I apologize for calling you a jerk, but that's your name. And Grimweird. Um, so many people came to my channel at, with the warning, and it's just, it's amazing. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. I went, I read every single one of your um, comments. I didn't, there's just too many to actually re, um, respond to every comment. So um, if you go to that chat, that one, I did um, pin a comment at the top, just thanking you guys so much. And so many people are requesting these songs. My request list in my videos is going to be half a mile long. It's going to take me forever to edit all those names into the request. But I'm going to try to keep doing that. Um, someday I may have to resort to only doing the first couple people who request any song. But right now I'm going to do my best to list all of y'all's names as requesting these songs because it, it just blows my mind that you've that many people came to my channel. So I'm excited to get into this. Um, since I'm doing three songs, I I'm, I'm already had a, a really long intro, but I thought it was important to show you guys how much I appreciate all you've done for my channel. Um, but this is going to be a longer video, but I can't wait to hear these ladies play the song that I've, of course, heard a million times. Um, I actually was the drummer in a band who played this song back in high school, so I mean, I definitely know the song, and I'm excited to see this. So here we go. Okay, the first one's going to be their original cover from 10 years ago, and just looking at the thumbnail, these they were so little. I'm I'm excited to see how how well they did the do. So here we go. Real quick, before I get too far into this, I'm going to move my camera down here so I can see um, Allie, I think her name is, A-L-E, Allie, um, and Danny and um, Pal are their names, so I, I actually started over.
okay, that was that was great. I mean, her control, um, Danny's control, singing and playing the guitar, doing the solo, little whammy or um, uh, not whammy, um, little um, the pedal, I, I suddenly the wah wah pedal. I mean, that's she's thirteen in this. I think y'all said that's crazy, and then. Um, Pow on the drums, just absolutely pounding it, singing. And I believe you said she's 11. I think there's two years between each one of them. So, and then <laughs> Allie doing doing the little kid voice, which matches because she's a little kid. Um, great version, great, great, great. I mean, it was there was a couple little hiccups here and there, but they're so young and professional and. The little, little, very small hiccups they had, they played through it like a professional. They didn't, you know, it didn't cascade into worse and worse and worse and worse. Believe me, I've played and had, you know, you make one mistake and you start just start making more and more mistakes. These girls, what little, like, again, very little mistakes they did make, they just recovered immediately and went so good. Um, so this was the first, ver first version I'm doing, so we'll get on to the next version. Okay, now uh, this version is going to be the, um, music video that they did for the Metallica Blacklist, uh, 30th anniversary that they did. Um, and this is with, uh, vocalist Alyssa Cara. I believe I read that she's a Canadian pop, um, singer an R&B singer. So I'm interested in seeing how she, her take on this. I believe the um, song is, or the instructions for the song were basically keep the lyrics, but do whatever you, else you want with it. And maybe I heard some, one of the comments said that this, they made it kind of a lullaby, a really creepy lullaby. So I'm interested in seeing how this goes. So here we go.
Okay, I gotta pause it for a second. Um, this is cool as hell. I'm gonna back it all the way up to the to where she's doing the first prayer. Um, this is a cool version. I like this. Um, also like the concept of the um, the video. I understand this was done during the pandemic, so you know the sisters were able to be together, but the um, other singer Alyssa couldn't come, you know, be with them and stuff. So I like this concept where they, they filmed her doing her thing and they're projecting her on the walls and in the smoke. I, there was a scene early on where the projection was through the smoke. It was very ghostly. It was really cool. But having them standing there in the doorway singing this and her projected on the wall around the doors. That is, I love the um, composition of this video. The video is so cool. And the song, I love what they've done with it. Really, really cool. I'm digging. This is, like the comic said, a creepy lullaby, but very epic. It's, it's really epic. I'm really enjoying this. Okay, <laughs> I dug that version. That was cool. And um, you could still hear the original song in it, especially the beginning and the end. That ending part. I understand, you know, Metallica, I'm a big Metallica fan. I've been a fan for years, since around. Um, I didn't really start listening to, to them until probably around um, Justice. And I know a lot of people of their old school fans didn't like the black album. It's too mainstream, too, you know, they, they sold out. And then when they went on to load and reload, which by the way, I love those two albums also. Um, it's, they just fell out. But that main riff in this song, I don't care who you are, that gets you pumped, especially the end of it. The I like this version because at the, the end of it, they kind of went back into the, a closer to the original and that's just that ending section is just powerful and it just hits you it hits you hits you hard great i love that um i'm gonna move on to the newer live um so i'll be right back with you okay and here we go with their live i believe it was from last year Oh, she's got one of um, James's guitars. <laughs> oh, this is the same version they did for the Blacklist. Cool. Take my 
I really dig this version of the song. Pause it for a second. <laughs> These ladies live are just killer. Y'all told me that, you know, they're always better live, which for me, almost anybody is better live. I love live music. I love, um, Allie's just having a ball over there. She's just enjoying herself, smiling and playing with the crowd. Really cool. Um, one thing I did notice, and I noticed this in the um, Evolve, and it, doesn't matter. It's not really a big thing, but the way she has her mic stand, I love that. For some, you know, it's upside. Her mic's upside down to the traditional where it's on top of the mic stand. Um, look at this. I actually dig that because it actually gives her a better view of the crowd. She can see forward more because the mic's not in her way. But it just it's such a, it gives when she's singing such an inter, interest, uh, interesting look because the mic's coming up to her instead of being pointed at her like that so that again that doesn't have anything to do with the song but it just i noticed that in the um last video also and i thought it was cool um god i love these ladies i love them i am i'm hooked <laughs> I find this cool too that the chorus is at halftime.
Okay, so that was the warning with three versions of Inner Sandman. Um, the middle one with Alyssa Cara. So good. <laughs> These ladies are so freaking good. Um, I am definitely a fan. I'm, I've heard two songs, basically, two songs from them, and I'm a huge fan. I would go see them tomorrow if they were still touring the U.S. I keep finding these bands over the last couple months right after they finish touring the U.S. <laughs> it's, it's, you know, that's just my luck. Um, so good. These ladies are so good. Uh, like I said, I'm going to be um, uh, releasing a song, at least one of them. Ah, let me read this. Next week, you know, every day I try to release two songs every day. Um, all next week, starting Monday, I'm going to attempt to... Actually, no, I might make them... It might, I'll go ahead and start on Sunday, because this one's going to come out on YouTube on um, Saturday. So Sunday through next Saturday, I'm going to get at least one warning song a day. So I'll re be releasing two videos. One of them will be warning, and one of them will be somebody else. Um because I definitely want to hear more from this band. I'm digging everything I'm hearing and seeing. These ladies are spectacular live. I can't wait to see more. Um, I don't know what to say. I don't want to, I'm dragging this video out way too long, but um, I'm, <laughs> I'm a 50 year old man and I'm giddy to hear these ladies sing. So I'm excited to, for this coming week to hear more and more of their stuff. Um, if you like the video, give it a like, comment. I've got, I've already got a, you know, after one day, I've already got a huge list of songs for now, but keep, keep them coming. I'll keep putting them on the list and I'll get to everything eventually. <laughs> um, please subscribe. You guys that came over to watch my first warning, the warning um, video crushed my subscriptions. I had just around six 50 or so and then I woke up this morning you know last night I you know went to bed I had about 650 or so um subscribers I woke up this morning it was almost 800 and over today it's up to I believe last time I looked it was like 837 838 something like that you guys are absolutely rock stars I appreciate it um I do have a patreon if you want to um Support the channel a little bit more directly. I always appreciate that. The link is down in the description. On my um, Patreon, most of my reaction videos go up there a day in advance. So this is hitting YouTube on Saturday. So when you're seeing this, it'll be Saturday. Um, it went up on Friday on my Patreon. Um, but any support you can give me, you know, the likes, likes help a amazingly subscriptions mean a lot to me i read every comment even if i don't respond to each for um comment i do read every single one of them i really appreciate everything y'all do for me and i will talk to you guys later